Good evening, High College viewers. In yesterday's video, we looked at setting up the Wimote and the Visual uh, Basic and using the Wimote Lib. Today, I'm just going to take you through some sample code to um, get your programming games. This is basically the basis for a game engine. You can program it to do exactly what you want it to do from here. It's very, very simple to modify and change. Um, it just involves you writing exactly what you'd like it to do. Um, basically all I've provided is a VB project with a double buffered picture box um, that doesn't flicker and um, basically draws, um, draws the frames from a timer. It's very, very, very basic. It's not a particularly good practice, but if you want to get into game programming and you want something easy to start, um, start using, this is the, the, the code for you. This will allow you to develop simple 2D games in Visual Basic. I'm sure you could probably make my code a lot better than what it is, but it's, it, it works. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take you through the, um, take you through the code that I've got here in Visual Studio. I've got the screen capture running. So the very first line says imports Wimote lib. Pretty straightforward. Imports the functions from the Wimote library and uh, DLL. Uh, basically, uh, you will need to add a reference to your project by going to Project References and browsing for the Wimote lib DLL. Make sure it's um, in your bin directory, in your um, debug and release, and also under your project folder. Um, you might not need to put it underneath all those, but it, it works. Um, okay, so the uh, form is declared here. Then basically these lines of code set the um, frame buffer up and the picture boxes ready to be added to the form. This line here defines the remote as a, a remote controller. And then we move into the load of the form. This code here basically maximizes the form and sets up the frame buffers and the buffer for the, um, sorry, sets up the, the picture boxes that hold the buffers and also sets up the images that are the buffers. Okay, and then here uh, basically it adds those to the form. Then it tries to connect to the Wimo. If the Wimo isn't connected, it quits out of the application. Then it enables the timer. Basically, the timer here calls an event called draw frame. In the draw frame routine, uh, we can look at what the remote's doing and what the user's doing and draw back graphics to represent those uh, changes. Then um, just one more line of code. Basically, when the form closes, disconnect the remote, save batteries. Very easy. Uh, I'm just going to put the code in the um, in the video. I'm going to stop the screen capture now. And I will run the project and just show you what the um, actual project does. Okay, and as you can see, the program's now running and it's spitting out the x, y values, uh, x, y, and z values from the remote. Um, in tomorrow's video, we're going to have a look at drawing some graphics on the screen to um, you know show the user interface and, and start controlling some elements and some uh, aspects within your game. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, have fun hacking, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.